I feel like that's way too loud to talk in here. So I don't have anything too special planned for today, but I will be trying this out, which as I mentioned in my last video is the first quad where I uh, coated all the electronics in conformal coating. So it should be waterproof-ish. I'm sure I will end up crashing it in the snow and we'll find out how well it holds up. I'm doing that thing where I don't know exactly what I want to fly, so I'm wasting so much time driving around from spot to spot. Just, I'm not sure if any of you guys that fly ever do that, but just don't. Just pick a spot, fly it. It's so held back by indecision. It's stupid. <laughs> I think I found a spot that uh, will pretty much guarantee that I get to crash in the snow for you guys and uh, get to test out that waterproofing. What the fuck? Where's the plug? So a couple people asked if I had tried flying from inside my car to stay out of the cold and I have not tried that and I thought today going along with the theme of a hopefully snowproof quad thought today would be a good day to try that. I even brought this ground station to set on the roof to make sure that the video wouldn't be blocked by the car, but I forgot an extra cord I need for it. So we're just going to have to use the receivers that are built into the goggles. Hope it doesn't block the signal too much. So short-lived. <laughs> that was so short-lived. I mean, that was the goal to see if this uh, holds up against the snow. I really wanted to fly for a bit longer than that before just burying it. Oh well. Where is it? Is that it? That's not my quad. Wait, where was I? There it is. Oh yeah. It's in there. Hey! It still flies. Even with snow packed in there, right on top of all the important electronics, pass the hover test. It just wouldn't be a day of flying if you didn't get stuck in a tree.
a perfectly clean landing. There's some more, some more snow in there. We have developed a slight problem. This motor won't stop spinning. I can even start the others. But that last one just... I don't know what caused that one ESC, I'm assuming it's the ESC, to uh, start acting up. It, you know, it survived several submersions in the snow. It, kind of the annoying thing, though, is it didn't even stop working after a crash. It was actually after uh, just a landing where I put it in the snow in my trunk bed, which I, I guess is my fault for missing the dry tailgate. But I'm okay with it. What I wanted to do today was really put it through an abuse test and see you know, how well does that coating hold up? And I guess what I would say for now is it works pretty well. It doesn't guarantee your quad to be totally waterproof. So my recommendation would be go ahead and throw that stuff on the uh, on the electronics in your quad because it, it didn't seem to hurt anything. But still, fly with caution. Try not to crash in the snow. Basically, it helps a bit, but no guarantees. As with anything, right? Anyways, none of my other drones have uh, had any sort of waterproofing, so want to get a little bit more flying in while the sun is out. I found myself a spot that has less snow to crash in. Oh damn, the GoPro is condensating. day. I appreciate you hanging out. It was a good time. If you didn't see the last video, this is the coating that we were trying out. It's called acrylic conformal coating. Like I said, it helped, but it didn't actually make the quad totally snow proof, but it didn't seem to hurt anything. So go ahead and throw it on your quads if you're looking to fly in the snow. I'm going to keep looking for more ways to make things more snow proof because we've got a few more months of this cold and snow. And I'm not going to stop flying things, so hope you keep hanging out. See you soon. Good night.